Hey everyone, I'm Mike Taglier of the Fantasy Pros Football Podcast. Thank you for joining us today. As always, you can find all of our new content on youtube.com forward slash fantasy pros. You can also find us at fantasy pros on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. But today, let's get into my top 10 prop bets for Super Bowl 55. Number 10, I'm going to take Patrick Mahomes throwing more than 1.5 touchdown passes. All he needs to throw is throw two touchdown passes against a Bucks defense that, well, of all the scores that they have allowed this year, 79.5% of them have come via the pass. This team stops the run extremely well, and on top of that, Mahomes has a turf toe injury that's going to limit some of his mobility. Bet on him passing two or more touchdowns. Number nine. I'm going to take Tom Brady throwing one and a, over one and a half touchdowns as well. In a game that has an, a total of 56 points with the greatest of all time in it, and you're going to tell me that Tom Brady's not going to throw at least two touchdowns? You get better odds on him than you do with Patrick Mahomes. And on top of that, Brady has now thrown at least two touchdowns in 13 of his last 14 games, including each of his last 10 games. Bank on Brady throwing at least two touchdowns in this one. At number eight, I'm going to take the over on Ronald Jones rushing for 37 and a half yards and the over on eight and a half rushing attempts. Bruce Arians has showed us time and time again that this is a timeshare. I really don't care that Leonard Fournette has ran pretty well in the playoffs. In the end, Jones has totaled at least nine carries in 13 of 16 games that he's played this year, including the time that these teams met back in week 12, where he rushed for 66 yards on nine carries. The Chiefs' run defense has allowed 4.51 yards per carry to running backs this year, and while Jones himself has averaged 1.14 more yards per carry than he was expected to based on NFL's next-gen stat, which ranked third in the NFL. If Jones receives just nine carries and averages just 4.2 yards per carry, both of these go over. At number seven, I'm taking Rob Gronkowski going over 29.5 receiving yards. When I saw this number, it seemed extremely low to me, especially knowing that Antonio Brown seems very unlikely to play. Now, Gronkowski has only topped 29 yards once in his last seven games, but that's basically when Brown came in the lineup. If you go back to before Brown came on the team, Gronk's previous six games netted 48, 29, 52, 78, 62, and 41 yards. So Rob Gronkowski was hitting that number quite regularly. Gronkowski has six catches of 29 or more yards this season, so this bet can pay off on just one catch. At number six, I'm taking the under on Leonard Fournette's 11 and a half carries. If you like the Chiefs to win this game, like I do, you should probably join me in betting the under here. In the five games that the Bucs lost, with Fournette in the lineup this year, his carry totals were 5, 0, 1, 7, and 3. I mean, heck, even in wins, Fournette has cracked 11 and a half carries just five times all season. With Ronald Jones back to full health, I do not expect Leonard Fournette to get 12 carries in this game. I am taking Patrick Mahomes to win Super Bowl MVP. Not only has a quarterback won the Super Bowl MVP eight of the last 11 games, but when we're talking about Tom Brady versus Patrick Mahomes, that's the storyline in this game. Sure, you could say that Tyreek Hill's going to go off. You could say that Travis Kelsey's going to go off. But the quarterback position will be the reason that they won this game. Expect either Tom Brady or Patrick Mahomes to win Super Bowl MVP. Considering I'm taking the Chiefs, I like Patrick Mahomes to win Super Bowl MVP. But if you want chances at both here, I'm okay picking position of MVP at quarterback minus 305. At number four, I'm going to say yes. There will be a two-point conversion attempt. Notice how I did not say success. Attempt, attempt, attempt. In eight of the last 11 Super Bowls, there have been a two-point conversion attempt. And the game has continually shifted towards the two-point conversion. In what's supposed to be an extremely close game, I'm fully expecting one of these teams to take a shot going for two. At number three, I'm going to say one of these teams will score in the final three and a half minutes of this game. This seems like an easy bet to me. Not only have the last six Super Bowls featured some sort of scoring in the final three and a half minutes of the game, but 22 of the last 27 Super Bowls have scored in the final three and a half minutes of the game. You could also bet on two minutes in, but that's, a, that's dicey territory where teams can start running out the clock. This is expected to be a close game, and I do expect some sort of score inside the final three and a half minutes. At number two, I'm going to say that these two teams combine for over three and a half sacks. Yes, the biggest one here is that Patrick Mahomes is not only playing with turf toe, he's also missing his left tackle, Eric Fisher, for this game, who tore his Achilles. Tampa Bay has one heck of a pass rush, one of the top pressure rates in all of football. And then you go on the other side of the ball and you say, Tom Brady 
If someone gets him by a shoelace, he falls to the ground. I am fully anticipating at least four sacks in this game. And number one, it is who will throw more touchdown passes. I'm going to take Patrick Mahomes minus 0.5. That's right. All you need Patrick Mahomes to do is throw one more touchdown than Tom Brady. Knowing that the Bucs are so incredibly good against the run and that they've only allowed nine rushing touchdowns through 19 games this year, the, the Chiefs may not score a rushing touchdown at all. On the flip side, they've allowed a lot of passing touchdowns. That's where you beat the Bucs. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ball, the Chiefs are more of a run-friendly offense. You can score on the ground on them. You can gain yards on the ground. And the best part about this, even if Tom Brady does throw three touchdowns, that just means that Patrick Mahomes is either way out in front in the lead, he's already scored those touchdowns, or he's fallen behind and he's going to be throwing a lot for a lot more touchdowns. So I love Patrick Mahomes minus a half of a touchdown versus Tom Brady. And that wraps up my top 10 favorite prop bets for Super Bowl 55. Let us know, what are your favorite prop bets for the Super Bowl? Are you going to be betting them? Make sure to let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're here because we're going to be posting content throughout the entire offseason.